Hello guys, uh, in the previous video I talked about important uh, relations in algebra uh, before starting to learn calculus. In this video I'm gonna talk about some important relations in geometry uh, that are related to the area circumference and volume of some geometric shapes. So uh, the topic of this uh, video is formulas for area we call a circumference we call it c and also volume we call it v of some uh, geometric shapes uh, the first uh, geometric shape that i'm going to talk about is a triangle so let's draw a triangle first. Uh, okay, uh, assume that the base of this triangle is B and the height is H. So uh, we can also call this side A and this angle between A and B as theta. So the area of this triangle is equal to A, one half of base B times H. So it's one half of the product of base and height of the triangle. Uh, in terms of a and b and theta, it can be expressed as one half of a times b times sine theta. Because uh, if you uh, look at this, uh, let me just highlight it. If you look at uh, this triangle, the highlighted one, uh, in this uh, right triangle, uh, sine theta, sine theta can be expressed as H over A. So it's from uh, trigonometry. And uh, then H is equal A times sine theta. So uh, here in this relation for the area, we replace H by A sine theta. And that's why we get uh, this relation uh, as the area of the triangle. So yeah, uh, we can use this formula to obtain the area of a triangle. Uh, for triangles, uh, please notice that the height always forms a right angle with the base. Uh, and in some cases, the height uh, may lie outside the triangle. Uh, for example, in, uh, in this case, this triangle, the height is inside the triangle. But uh, for some other cases, like uh, this triangle that I'm going to draw. Uh, in this case, um, as you see, uh, B, the base is here. And uh, the height, uh, remember that always forms a right angle with, with the base. So uh, this is the height, which forms a right angle with the base. So H is outside the triangle. And again, uh, for this case, the area is always one half of the base times 
uh, height of this triangle. And uh, for the circumference of a triangle, obviously it is the summation of all the three sides of uh, a triangle. Also, uh, please note that the sum of the three angles of any triangle is always 180 degrees. Uh, in other words, uh, if we have this angle as alpha, this is as beta, this is as theta. So the summation of alpha plus beta plus theta is 180 degrees uh, or in terms of radian it is equal to pi um, the pi number so this is another property of uh, triangles in addition to the area and the circumference of these uh, shapes uh, before moving to uh, to another shape uh, let's talk about uh, an important theorem uh, in geometry for triangles it's called a pythagorean theorem uh, it's about right angle triangles or right triangles uh, whenever you have a right triangle like this uh, you name this side A, this side B, and this side C. The C is also called a uh, hypotenuse, hypotenuse of the right triangle, and uh, there is an important relation between these three parameters, uh, and it is written as A squared plus B squared equals c squared so it is always true for all right triangles uh, you can also obtain uh, b or a in terms of c uh, so it can also be rewritten as for example b equals square root of c squared minus a squared so yeah that concludes the important relations in geometry for triangles another important shape in uh, geometry in 2d is a circle so let me draw a circle first so a, a circle has a center and uh, the distance of the uh, uh, center to the circle is named uh, radius we call it R uh, and uh, diameter of a circle is twice the distance of radius so uh, for example This is the diameter of the circle, we call it D. So D is twice the radius. Uh, and this is the center of the circle. Uh, so the area of a circle can be written as pi number times r squared the radius uh, to the power of 2 and in terms of uh, diameter uh, since uh, radius is one half of the diameter you can write like this and then it can be expressed as pi over 4 d to the power of 2 so the area of a circle can be written in terms of radius or diameter and the circumference of the circle or the distance around the circle is found by uh, using 2 pi 
r or in other words pi 2r or pi times d uh, whichever that you like to uh, memorize so uh, these two relations uh, give us the area and the circumference of a circle and uh, always remember that uh, d is diameter which is twice the radius or radius is one half of diameter uh, r and d are uh, two important parameters of a circle uh, please pay attention that you might also have a portion of a circle or a sector of a circle. Uh, it can be uh, drawn like this. So let me just draw that one. Okay, it's not that perfect, but it's okay. You can understand what I mean by a sector of a circle. So it's part of a circle. It can be viewed as a pi. Um, so uh, when you have this sector, you have the radius R uh, and uh, the angle between these two uh, radi radii um, is theta. So these two parameters um, establish the sector uh, of a circle. And let's uh, name the length of this arc as S. Therefore, uh, the area of this sector, let me just highlight that area, which is, I think, good to show. So. By the area, I mean this highlighted part of the sector. So the area of um, this sector can be written as one half of r squared theta. And theta is in radians. That's the uh, area of this sector and the uh, length of S. Uh, please note that this length is very important. In some applications, you need to know the length of this uh, arc. So the length S is obtained by R theta radius times that angle between two radii. So here theta is also in radians. That's very important. Please, please, if your uh, angle is in terms of uh, degree, please change it to radian first. Otherwise you get a wrong number for the area or the length of the arc. Uh, of this sector uh, so uh, yeah these are the uh, important 2d shapes in geometry uh, for rectangle and square the area uh, and the perimeter is very straightforward and i just skip those shapes in this video i assume that you already know them uh, so this concludes the review of uh, some algebraic relations uh, for this video. In the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, some uh, three-dimensional shapes and the uh, uh, relations to obtain the volume or area of those shapes. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our content from Ijo Academy and would like to see more. Thank you.